Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. Today I have a small Dollar Tree haul. I spent about $30. Um, there is about five items that you see here that I that you don't see here. Um, it was just some sugar-free caramel candy that has already been in the bag. And um, my niece was with me and she got these two little baby dolls things. So that has been dropped off with her. Um, so, as you know, we are trying to do a um, stock up on little canned foods and, and medicine and things like that. Just because if something happens, we want to be prepared. So, that is sort of what this haul is. I checked the dates on a lot of things that we got, except for these. I don't know why I didn't check them. These actually expire September 20th of 2021. So, these have about a month and a half. So, that's just there if we need them or if we're just needing some sugar or something like that. We can have that. They'll last for about another month and a half. So that'll be fine. But I picked up some heavy duty freezer bags. You get 10 and some of the hefty um, gallon size of the storage bags. I also, household items, I also picked up this clean and fresh Lysol. This makes five gallons. I dilute it into my Swiffer container with some water and that's what we use for the liquid um, to clean the floors with. Also picked up another one of these because all I have is the big one left and I like to refill these with that. Um, I needed some paprika so I grabbed that. Um, and if you've never got the spices from Dollar Tree, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people do, um, but if you never have, I highly recommend it. I mean, you get a lot for a dollar. Uh, the next thing I got, they finally had this back. It, this is just garlic and pepper only and it kind of helps you, um, you know, to blend things out a little better if you're not you don't want to put too much garlic or too much pepper and this is 12 ounces for a dollar and this lasts me probably about a month and a half uh, depending on how heavily I use it or what I'm cooking also picked up this ground cumin because I want to make um, a chili so I needed the paprika the cumin and I also already have some chili powder in there that I got last time we went to the Dollar Tree um, so I picked up the 57 sauce again. If you saw that last video, I did uh, get some already. But I wanted to try this recipe on the back. It is 57 glazed chicken. You do this and some honey. And this is pure honey. And you just uh, put that on there with uh, on just those two ingredients on some chicken breast. And you bake it, grill it, or however you want to cook it, it says. And it turns out really good. Um, I did look up the recipe and a lot of people had good reviews on it, so I thought we would give that a try. It's probably going to be like a spicy, uh, sweet um, kind of chicken. So like I said, these expire in a month and a half, so we just have to make sure to use those up. Uh, but I just wanted to get those to put in the pantry. I mean, if anything happens within a month, we'll still have those to eat if we need it. Um, those are good for breakfast, snack, or anything. I also like to pick up this Jiffy to go whenever we can. If you just want to have it on the side or something, um, it comes with three little containers at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. This is my first time seeing the Hunt's pasta sauce there, and they had the garlic and herb. This was the last can, or I would have gotten more. And then they also had some of the spaghetti and meatballs. They did have plenty of this, and the lady in front of me, actually, I am not kidding. Her total was $145. And she had about 50 cans of SpaghettiOs. She had nothing but canned foods and toilet paper. So, like I was telling my husband, I don't think that's a coincidence. I think she was there stocking up too. But it's okay. We can stock up together. But these expire um, next November. So, not this November, but November 2022. Um, which is still a long time away. I mean, about a, about a year and three or four months. But I like to sort of get some things that expire later in date, like this Hunt's here don't expire till, oh no, that one's 2022 as well. I thought I picked up, oh, the rice. The rice don't expire till 2023, so this kind of gives you um, a longer, you know, about a good year and a half shelf life. Um, and this is the jasmine rice as well. If you've been here, you know I like to buy my jasmine rice from the Dollar General. It is the all-natural kind, and this one is the Diamond Elephant brand. But I wanted this because it is uh, vacuum sealed. It's better than just a zipper or anything like that. It's actually vacuum sealed. So I thought with trying to put this in a pepper print, pepper pantry that this would actually do better um, with it be a vacuum sealed. And they both are good to 2023. So I grabbed those. Uh, we got some ranch sunflower seeds. This one ain't particularly for the pantry. But of course, if you... Um, 
just want to keep some snacks on hand, you can do that. This don't expire for 2022 as well. So anything that's at least a year out is good for you, but I like to try to go beyond that. I don't like getting my canned foods from there, like, um, you know, peas and carrots and all that, because I feel like at Walmart, you can get them two for a dollar. Um, my Super One, you can get them three for a dollar. So just depending on where you go. But next time I go grocery shopping, you guys will see me stocking up on all of that stuff. So the next food item is some of their cheese crackers. If you watched my video where I was doing um, a taste test between name brand and cheap brand, I actually liked their brand of cheese crackers. So these have no sugars or anything like that, and it, it don't expire till the end of September, September 30th, 2021. So about two months away on that. So that'll be good to have. Um, and then with it having no sugar, I can actually eat it now on the diet that we're on. I picked up these screwers. Um, these are actually really, really big. So what I'm going to do when I grill them, um, they come in a four pack, is I'm probably just gonna put them halfway and then probably, I don't know, stick them out if I do my George Foreman. But if not, I can definitely put these in the oven. They're like, they're super long. <laughs> so they're really big and they're four pack and they're all metal. So I just thought I'd pick that up because I wanted to make some kebabs, but I'm not sure how that would turn out. I guess I may have to cook everything separately then put them on the screwers I'm not sure but we'll see um so last few items are all medicine related so you always want to make sure um you know if you're adults you have medicine on hand and if you're you have children you want to make sure you have children uh, medicine so since it's just two of us and we're an adult I like to keep this daytime cold and flu around this works really well it's non-drowsy you get 10 soft gels in there and it has Tylenol in it. It's good for pain and fever, uh, cough suppressant, and nasal decongestant. So it works really, really well. And it is... Take two every four hours. So these last really well. They are compared to the Alka-Seltzer Alka brand. So these are really well. Um, usually I buy two, but again, they only had a few left. So I just grabbed one because I think we do still have some from the last couple hauls prior. I would pick it up. Um, I also have small band-aids, but I wanted to get these extra large plastic band-aids. They are four-sided seal, so it makes sure you can't get dirt or water or anything in there. And it's two times more absorbent. So I thought we'd get these just in case if something was to happen um, and also to pack on those, um, like if, you know, if you go anywhere or if you need to leave in a hurry, you always want to have a few things in, um, your bag. So I picked up those. They're 10 for a dollar. I picked up some more triple antibiotic cream. I do have plenty, but I just wanted to grab more. And these don't expire to 2024 on the cream. And the soft gels are good until November 2022nd. Also picked up 40 of the ibuprofen. Um, ibuprofen is my go-to medication for anything. Um, I prefer ibuprofen over Tylenol, so I like to keep a lot of ibuprofen on hand. Vicks expires 2023 as well, so that is a good two to three years. And this one expires September 2022. This is the mucus relief. If you ever don't have a cough, but you just feel really stuffy in your nose, I am telling you to try this from Dollar General Dollar Tree because it works really, really well. Um, it it thins and loosens mucus if you have it, and it relieves chest congestion as well. This works this works super well. I have bought it for the last three years now. Um, anytime we have an issue, this is what we use. So this is my haul. It was only about thirty dollars with a few items that you don't see. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.